Hi, for this video we're going to be going over how to run our scaffold files through a program called Quast in order to get different statistics um, such as the total genome length, the N50, L50, uh, number of scaffolds, um, and many other things. So in order to do that, uh, we first download Quast, which Quast is the quality assessment tool for genome assemblies. And uh, I did this by uh, just going to my directory and entering these three lines, copied and pasted them. And after that, uh, it gave me this folder here, this Quast folder, if we CD into that. We can see uh, the program mainly uses uh, this Python code that's, that was written. Um, and we'll see later on in the video uh, when we run the script how that works. Um, but the first thing we do, and I've made a small tutorial on our uh, lab GitHub uh, that gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy over our file that we want to run through the Quas program. And in this case, it's the OR2 uh, isolate file. So we're going to cd to the OR2. And it's this file here, scaffolds.fasta. So we're going to go ahead and copy that with the cp command. And then we need the path to that file, which is right here. And then the file name, which is scaffolds.fasta. Oh, and then we have to add a period to let the command line know that we want it here in this folder. So then if we ls, we should see that there it is, it's been created. And now let's rename it so that we know what it is and we don't get confused. So to do that, we're going to go with the move command. And we're going to move the scaffolds.fasta file. And we're going to call it scaffolds underscore or2.fasta. And we ls, and there's our new file. So after that, we're going to make sure that we've reserved a processor in the clusters, and we do that with this line here. Uh, we've already done that, we can see, because our username is Symbiosis instead of Waterman. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and run the script, and the scripts can be found here. I've already um, previously typed it in, so I'll just use the up arrow to get back to that command. And here it is, so we type in the quas.py, which calls for that Python file. Then dash o output. This is the uh, directory that we want all the output files to. We want Quas to put all the output files into this directory here. And then this is our uh, reference genome that we downloaded. It's right here, and that's going to be what it compares to our scaffolds file. So we'll go ahead and run that. And if it's running correctly, it should take maybe about a minute or so, it gives you, um, you know, a running, uh, a running, like, details of what's going on. Um, so I've already ran it previously. Um, to go ahead and see that, we can, uh, it, at the end it'll give you where exactly the, the files were put into, but we will go ahead and look at this. Oops. Okay, so here's all of the files that it puts out. And then uh, if you use the uh, FileZilla or CyberDuck, you can download them onto your computer and open them up as PDFs. Uh, here's one I did previously of the OR8 isolate. And if you open the report here, it gives you a lot of uh, nice statistics. Um, this one has a number of... Uh, Contigs, total length, uh, N50, L50, and it also gives you a lot of nice graphs of all these statistics as well. Yeah, so that's how to run a, a file, either your scaffolds file or your contigs file through Quast. Alright, thanks for watching.